always good when lug nuts are falling off. I think Austin's nervous. neutral coming. Hold on! Oh yeah, take it out of here. Probably come a little bit. Oh. She's in neutral, bud. It's got good antifreeze in it. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you move this ramp over? No, I probably can't. It's buried in the ground. Oh, you got you got plenty of tire on it. We got a four-wheel drive farm track now. This is Austin's parts tractor. His farm track parts are hard to come by, to say the least. This one's got a good engine, brand new clutch, the whole nine. I guarantee you people drive past our houses and wonder what in the world is going on. All right, so this is Austin's new parts tractor. These farm track parts are hard to come by. This one's got a good running engine, brand new clutch. He's telling me now it only has like 30 hours on it, but and these do have a two-stage clutch, so it's worth having around in case you ever need anything. That's a good little tracker. Just parts are impossible to find. So I've been thinking about this for a while, and uh, I try to get to a lot of auctions, but uh, sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I've been thinking about doing, you know, like everyday, I don't want to say farm activities, because it's not always farming, but... You know, we're always getting into something. I may not make it to an auction, but I'm normally doing. So I'm gonna start trying to do that kind of stuff and see if it takes off. I did a few before. I didn't really have as many followers then. So we'll see what happens, but uh, that's gonna be part one of this video. And we'll probably throw something in the end here. Another project we get into. We'll just see how it goes. All right, so here's today's project. These are uh, big, long, the second one's over there shade units they have like a canvas top part them out for the cattle to get out of the weather under and austin's got to deliver these about three hours away tomorrow so we're going to tear these things down he started on this one yesterday and uh cram them all on his trailer so tomorrow morning he can head out and deliver these things i wouldn't normally film this kind of stuff same as the tractor deal but we're going to use that tractor to load them and i wouldn't miss Austin driving a John.
concerned height-wise here, so. And that's probably what a foot taller. Yeah, I think it's got to come off. That's nine foot two to the deck. That's what I figured it was that nine foot. We'll probably all right then. As long as we're under thirteen. Which that's only like two. That's nine. that puts you at three nine, so you're at like or two nine I mean. Yeah. So you're what did I say nine two? Yeah. So you're at eleven. We're under twelve. Five. Yeah. I mean, oh. hell, even here. It just looks bad because it's. Looks bad because we're doing it. Well, I mean, that's pretty much normal. So. See, that's 10 there. So that puts you at 12.9. 12. 12. 12.9. Which is still fine. 13.6 yeah. is where I gotta be concerned. Right. I'm just worried about getting them all four on there okay because they're, you know, they're not gonna be able to overlap perfect. Well, this is what's gonna screw us right here. Yeah, that's what I mean. It can't come forward much more. Right. I mean, if I have to, we'll cut the thing off. That's all there is to it. It might come down to it. We'll, we'll see. We're going to put the second one on, see what it looks like. All right, so we got these on here. It looks pretty ridiculous, but they're actually, this angle coming off the front's the highest part, and it's only like 12, 6, 12, 8, something like that. So we're well within, but it's it's a pain. We can't get them lined up, and we gotta cut that other red one apart too. So we're gonna have to cut some of these supports up so we can tuck these things in tight, and hopefully we can get them both on here. It's about a three hour trip, so we wanna get them both on here and only have to make one trip essentially.
I'm getting the next victim in position here. This is what the other one started out as. Perfect. All right, so we ended up cutting some of the uprights. It took us a while. We're cutting this stuff with grinders because they are going to weld them back together. We're trying to make it as easy as possible here. But uh, we got them all marked, cut off, and they slide together real nice. So we're going to do the same with this. Should be able to get them on here. And once they're in half, we can put half the running gear in front, half the running gear in the back. And this should go pretty smooth. So we'll see what happens here. All right, I'll save you the boredom of us cutting all these welds with the grinders. So once we get this thing about ready to cut, we'll start filming and, and same thing. We're just going to separate it, cut the uprights off and flip them upside down, slide them on the trailer. Let me get this cord out of the way. All right, so that wasn't pretty, but uh, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's just taking us forever because we're trying to cut this so it can go back together as easy as possible for the new guys. So we're gonna cut this extension on the running gear in half. So we have two halves of that. And then what we'll do is we'll come in here and cut. Uh, on this end, we'll probably have to cut both uprights. And on that end, one side of the uprights and here they got them kind of doubled up so we'll cut all the weld out and separate those and it's pretty much loaded up and get it strapped down ready to go if only it was that easy to actually do it so or we'll get this stuff cut and we're ready to load i'll start recording again all right so we got this thing ready to go running gear cut in half all these supports off we split this here where they spliced it in the middle. So we're gonna put these two on there, line them up with them blue ones. We're gonna flip that bottom blue running gear, put it on the back, put the red one on the back, and then put both fronts on the front. Tie it down somehow and should be good to go. Came out pretty good, honestly. So while we're doing this, we got way out there, you can barely see, but first calf of the year out there. So pretty neat. Get this stuff loaded up and we go home and get some dinner.
everything with the fronts on it's having some loader control issues in there but uh i'd be blaming it on because the tractor's green i'm sure we're just gonna put a block under this when we get home so we're not riding here but uh i think that's okay and it got the front parts out of the way so we should be able to line these two up on the side hopefully just gonna kind of see what happens here Okay, I'm running out of battery, so we're probably going to wrap this one up here. But uh, this is our load, hillbilly load. He's going to look like the Beverly Hillbillies tomorrow, but we got it all on there. Probably have to put about 100 straps on it. But uh, there's not uh, a whole lot of weight here, so I think we'll be just fine. I'm sure there's some professionals. Yeah. Yeah. Should be mostly main roads. I think you'll be all right. So there's that. If you guys like this, uh, comment and let us know. We'll try and do more of these. I tried before. They didn't really take off, but we're doing this kind of stuff anyway. I thought you guys might like it. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.